Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be reviewing the Shock S, whatever, Delicate Warrior, whatever. So this is basically just oversized studio series ratchet. So yeah, let's just open the box and begin with the review. So, uh, unboxing, yay. That is just basically oversized ratchet. I think it looks dumb. Uh, let me just know this. I think it it looks cheap. Um, the plastic looks weird. It reminds me of a toy I used to have. Yeah, it just looks like that. The plastic looks like that. The gun is just oversized. So yeah, let's get to, to the other side so we could uh, see all the details they added to this figure. Okay, I did not mean to put them in this pose. It kind of looked epic. I liked it. So details. So this is basically just Studio Series Ratchet. They don't have the Autobot insignia because suing. You know, they don't want to get sued. The heck is this? Oh, there's something on my camera. Okay, so Autobot insignia is not there. You could put just some sort of sticker it comes with one somehow for some reason. The paint, mm, the paint looks good, like near the chest. You have some details here, extra details. I like it. Kind of looks good. Just the plastic. You see these two lines. I don't like them, but of course it's there because this guy's big. So if we come up here, there are a lot more details than the studio series. So here they added this, which is cool. They added some painting, very nice. The hands, they look the same. Maybe this little piece is added new. The hand is red now, which I like. It really fits the uh, paint job. Very cool, very nice. The legs, they're the same, there's nothing different, and they have the wheels inside here. Just the wheels didn't make sense. There's wheels here, you can see, and there's wheels here. Yeah, it is what it is. Also, they added this. This isn't spring-loaded. It's stuck. So if you bend the knee, boom, it's spring-loaded. And this covers the hollow part, which is really nice. I like that part. Uh, the screw holes are still there. There's a big screw hole. The backpack is still the same. If they would have added more details, like something to cover this, it would have been much better. Weapon storage is, yeah, really basic. It's just the same as the Studio Series. Whatever. So yeah, that's basically it for it. Ratchet. Oh uh, yeah, the head sculpt. The head sculpt. We forgot to talk about that. Um. The camera won't focus. The head sculpt, it looks weird. It looks like the stuff of nightmares. I don't like it. If you see it in person, it is weird. I don't like it. So, yeah, that's basically it. The joints are much more stiffer, which is always good, always welcomed. So, yeah, that's cool. Always great to have much better joints than the original of the series. So yeah, also this could turn back for transformation reasons. So yeah, that's done. We're done with that. Uh, Weapon-wise, he comes with his blaster. Nothing new, nothing painted on it. And, oh, there's lights. Ooh, there is a light. Hey, okay. So yes, there somehow is lights. They really had to put lights. So this thing, uh, I think it's for the batteries. Oh no, this is how it turns on, weird. But if you do this, oh no. Oh yeah. That is kind of epic. I like that. Maybe the head sculpt also has. Uh, at least one of those magnet ones. Oh, it's the ones where you need the light. Okay. So this one does not turn on the head. Like, it doesn't turn on because this thing exists and this is for light to get in. Eh, pretty basic stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for that. Let's transform him. It's pretty easy because it's the same thing as the Studio Series. So first things first, we have to just remove the uh, top. So yeah, that's cool. Then what we do is just push this out. Oh, okay. And then just pull this also out. Very cool. We're done with the first part. Then what we do is just disconnect the back. Ooh. That's a lot more details. That's good, but it's, it's all in Chinese. And I don't know how to speak Mandarin or Chinese, I don't know. 
I don't know what language they speak there. Okay, now this is supposed to go like this. This is really cool. I like this figure already. Uh, let me just pull the camera back so we can have some more space. Now he looks... I don't know. <laughs> he looks weird right now. So uh, what we're going to do then is just turn this around. Turn this around. And Oh wait, no, we have to do the legs. So the legs, what we're going to do here is, because of this new piece, we're going to have to push it down. So the leg can come up here. Oh yeah. And, oh, what do we do with this now? Papers. <laughs> okay. You just put them on the side. Really? That's it? Okay, so it just turns out you just put them on the side. There's nowhere for them to go. I felt like this was an afterthought. But it's fine. It is what it is. At least it covers up the hollow part from the behind. So yeah, we have that there. Now let's pull this up. And we turn this around. So then we could also turn the thigh. This is somehow mismatched. What? This is yellowed more and this is just white. One is more yellowed, one is more white. Uh, and somehow I got my... What the heck is this? What? I got sparkles on my finger. I don't know where I got this from. It's probably from the figure. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So also they added a new element to the transformation to handle this. That is smart. Not genius, but that's smart. I, I like that. I like what they did. Just if the, the instructions were more clear, that would have been good. But now it's flat. Yay. Okay, so it's supposed to look like this for now. Ta-da. Then... Let me just turn this around also. Okay, then what we're going to do is just push this in. Oh my god, they added a new element, a new piece. You have to just pull this up. And then this closes, which is good. I like that. They are seriously thinking of everything I complained. But they, the paint is less quality and the plastic looks weird. It looks more yellowed. Weird. So yeah, what we're going to do next is just put it like this, then connect. Oh wait, let me turn it around. Then we just connect this piece into here, like this. Like that. So it's supposed to look like this for now. Let me just fix it. Okay, we're done with that for the first side. Then what we're going to do is just turn this around. And boom, you are done with the first side. Let me just do the other side. Okay, so. Let me just lower this all. Okay, so uh, this is this is done. Okay, so yeah, this is cool. You got some language on the side. It's really much more detailed. I really like it. That looks like some battery charge thing. That's really cool. I like that. It's really nice. I, I, it's really cool. I like this. I thought it looked weird, but now it's pretty nice. So, what we're going to do is just uh, connect this here. Ta-da! Boom! Let me just fix that and we'll be done. That was too far. Okay, so we got them right here. Looking really cool. This okay, now that's in. So yeah, we have him in vehicle mode. It's really cool. They had a lot, a lot of pieces to fill in the hollow parts, which is really nice. It's just like, yeah, the vehicle mode is awesome. It, it really looks nice, as I said on the studio series. But with this additional paint, it's good. It's really good. Just the white is mismatched because some of the white is just plastic and some of the white is just painted. Uh, yeah, yeah. The top is really nice here. They didn't add anything in the back to put. There's like any canisters or something like here. So yeah, that's cool. Weapon. Yeah, it just looks silly right now like this. So yeah, it really does remind me of the uh, War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron games. So yeah, this is really nice. A really nice figure. If you want to pick it up, pick it up. I think they're going to make more oversized figures of these. Uh, Maybe they're going to make Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, Optimus Prime. Maybe. They, that's a maybe. 
But yeah, this is really awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, like and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Enjoy a good day. And stay safe. <laughs>